Hello and welcome to Pendant and Ring. Today we have a how-to article from our website, PendantandRing.com, that we decided to turn into a video. How to start collecting coins in your 40s. Expert tips and tricks. Start your coin collecting journey today. When you set out on a new mission, it helps to have a plan. Join us today and learn how to get what you want from your new hobby, the Hobby of Kings. So the first thing you need to do is decide on your direction. What do you want out of your coin collection? What country, countries, regions, or eras interest you the most? Is this a fun hobby? Is this an investment hobby? Where do you want this hobby to go? What does it look like in five years? When you know what you want, you're more likely to get it. Henry David Thoreau has a great quote about this, knowing where you're going and getting there. He said, I learned this at least by my experiment, that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. And that's the way this is too. That's the way a lot of things are in life. If you know what you want and you go after what you want, then you will reach with success. The next thing you need is a system of organization. A coin collection has a place for everything and everything in its place. Without a system of organization, you will find yourself in coin accumulator territory. Coin accumulation is fun, but only a part of coin collecting. Develop a plan at the start of your coin collecting journey to stop the coin hoarding dragon that hides in junk drawers and closets across the universe from taking over. Here are two pendant and ring articles about coin collection organization and a coin collection consultation appointment link with pendant and ring for help with any of the steps in this article, as well as valuation, simplification, and maximizing the financial returns of your current coin collection. Um, you'll find them all down below in the description and uh, on the website too. The third important step to beginning coin collecting in your 40s is to make a budget. To enjoy the hobby of kings, you must mind your coffers. Some coins are highly sought after treasures with price tags to match. If you want to get the best coins, financial planning is in order. Make a budget so you control the hobby and the hobby does not control you. A hobby budget can be as simple as naming a dedicated dollar amount you get to invest each month. Schedule a regular and predetermined investment amount to steadily grow your collection, like growing a garden. It's like watering the plants. You want to give them enough water to, for them to survive, but you don't want to get so much water that you kill a plant or so many coins all at once that it hurts your systems of organization because that takes time too. Although buying the coins, getting the coins, that's the fun part, the most fun part. The other pieces are what separate the collectors from the accumulators, the collectors from the hoarders. So definitely maintain your system of organization, set yourself a budget, stick with it, grow slow and steady because that's how you win the race. You do not need to set aside large sums of money to get started. Setting aside time to learn about your country of choice or region of choice or era of choice is a free way that you can invest in your hobby, especially in the beginning. Some countries have complicated coin histories. Other countries have pretty straightforward coin histories. And the more you learn about your country or region of interest, the more you will learn about what you're looking for in coin markets. Once you have a substantial collection, your hobby can subsidize your budget as you replace low-grade coins with high-grade coins. The sale of low-grade coins produces money to pay for coin collection insurance and upgraded storage and display options and even better coins. Another really important thing to do when you start coin collecting or really when you start any hobby is to find your why. It's easier to do the more tedious tasks like inventory and valuation updating when you know why you're collecting coins. Find your why and it will be easier to maintain momentum when saving and searching for the elusive coins, the unicorns of your collection. Do you want a beautiful display wall of framed coins with stories and certificates of authenticity? Do you want to add to your investment portfolio or to make more money? Do you want to stash some cash in the form of silver just in case? 
Do you want to make coin collector friends? Do you want to connect with your children or nibblings? Nibblings, by the way, are nieces and nephews. It's the all-encompassing term for both nieces and nephews, which I think is super cool. I love the way that language is changing, you know? And it's neat, you can see that on coins too. Like everything used to be Latin abbreviations. And now we've got coins in every language and it's just the evolution of language is so cool. Do you want to explore history through coins? Do you want a coin collection that adds interest and value to an existing hobby? If you have a hobby, like let's say um, you really enjoy collecting fountain pens. Well, you can use that fountain pen hobby to get started in coins by exploring the crossover of fine manufacture fountain pens, the locations that they are made, and the coins that are produced in the same area, right? Or the history of fountain pens, you know, at some point there was the first modern nib and it was made at a specific time in a specific place well at the same time they were minting coins at a specific time and a specific place and that can kind of guide your interest when you start coin collecting last but definitely not least the most important thing on the list for this hobby or for any hobby really is to follow your heart are you ready to start your coin collecting adventure one of the best things about coin collecting is that you craft your journey there is no such thing as too old, too cheap, or too expensive. Anything is possible with enough time. This hobby can be whatever you want it to be. Starting in your 40s is a great way to skip the directionless, ooh, shiny influence of the decades between 10 and 30 years old. At this stage of the game, you know yourself and you know what you want. It's time to get it. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Find your next treasures at Pendant and Ring Collectible Coins on Etsy or Honored Allies Coins and Coin Jewelry on eBay, both linked in the description with the other links previously mentioned. Subscribe to the website, PendantRing.com, to get articles like this one in your email and to explore the other articles we have. We have an archive. We started writing articles steadily years ago. There is really an encyclopedia of articles over there all about coins and coin jewelry and fashion trends and how these things intersect so go check it out check out this video too you can just click it there it is like sub click the bell and we will see you next time on pendant and ring